Hey, Strawberry Shortcake. So this is uh, Trav Dude the Zerg versus Tony El Chino. And you are going to be doing the three factory mech into five factory mech. And this is a great TVZ style, especially in if anyone who's not in the Masters League should be doing this. It's so much easier to micro and so much easier to macro and just so much easier to do, man. Um, and really hard for the Zerg to deal with. I don't... A lot of people don't like uh, doing like I was showing Matt how to how to do this basically this mech style, and the problem is that you get so used to using Marines and Marauders in the other two matchups that it's hard to say well in Z in TVZ I'm only gonna mech, but in, in TVT and TVP I'm gonna use Marines and Marauders because they just they're very different very different play styles. Um, but if you're if you're capable of doing uh, mech and TVZ and other things in the other two matchups, then by all means, this is a great great way to play, and I've liked the way you've been doing it so far. Um, so you're going for pretty quick expo at the factory before the expo, and uh, I believe you're going to start reactor hellions and get a, a marauder so that you can have two marines and a marauder and resist that sort of stuff. You do this pretty sloppily in this game. Um, but it's clear that you know what you should have done and that you just kind of did it slowly for whatever reason. Um, like you've supply blocked a little bit and your Marauder's coming out really late and... Actually, that's pretty good. I felt like the, the swap on the, on the factory and the racks took place a little bit late and, and the Marauder should have been out earlier to be in this bunker so that you could survive a six minute road rush, but, uh... I might be wrong, man. It seems like this the, the timing of this has all worked out quite well. Uh, so you're just going to establish some map control with these aliens, get a poke up there, see when his third goes down, see if he's coming with anything scary. Check for massive creep spread, which tends to mean that the person wants to secure their third. Uh, check for ling speed earlier than you expect, but by now it's too late. And then you're just basically going three factory... Um, Two tanks and, and two Hellions, two tanks and two Hellions, two tanks and two Hellions. Uh, you have supply blocked yourself a billion times so far. And as a result, instead of having 48 or 50 workers, you have 44. But 44 is crazy good, man. That's totally fine. I am fine with 44 workers at 10 minutes. And quite a large army, 2400 plus no upgrades. So, you know, not... Not as large as I would like for a 10 minute push, but you're not planning to make a 10 minute push. This is a macro style where you're just overrunning the world with, with workers. And look how easily you mop up this this big old Ling run by from him. Hellions are just... they're just melty. It's so easy. So easy, man. So easy. Uh, so in response to his wasting all those lings, you're going to go deny his third, which I think is the right move here. You're throwing down your fourth factory. You've got your armory going. Uh, your money is piling up and piling up, and I'm a little bit worried also that you're pulling SCVs with your push, right? So you're taking some SCVs off of this natural, but then this CC is still rallied to your main. You know, like, your main is fully saturated. You don't need more SCVs down here, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, you could use two more, but... In general, you want your SCVs to be going to your natural. You've also, I think, accidentally cut SCVs a little bit more. I think you're going to you're gonna cut SCVs a little bit more and a little bit more the later into the game we get. And that's fine because usually you, you really just want to make 52 SCVs and then there's not really a huge need for more than that. Although you do want enough to be able to pull them every time you attack. Again, you're supply blocking yourself. Um, but these are little things, man. You, you It would be nice to have a fifth factory. It would be nice to get a command center. It would be nice if you were actually using your armory. Um, but more important than any of that stuff is that you made a lot of units, you got a lot of money, and you used it. And you knocked down this third. It's really, uh, unlikely after this opening that the Zerg's gonna be able to get anything really significant done because your income is massively higher than his, and your army is already bigger than his, and he doesn't have a ton of money in the bank to spend to get a huge army all of a sudden. So he's gonna do a desperation move, he's gonna load up, uh... 16 banelings and do a simultaneous drop on your main and your natural luckily you noticed that your saturation balance was off so you balanced your scvs between the two which is great because if you hadn't then this baneling drop would have done a lot more than it's going to do uh and your army 
is off at his front being intimidating, being scary, and being immune to basically everything but mutas, right? Like, if he comes with mutas any time before these two Thors had arrived, you would just have to run away and probably lose all your tanks because tanks are too slow to get away from mutas. But, uh, he didn't didn't make mutas, and people are making mutas less and less often, so this type, this style of play is a lot. I like it. I, I like it more and more lately. Um, so he kills uh, 24 workers all at once, and while that is sad, he's still already too far behind to really catch up, because 16 banelings is a lot of money. That's, that's almost $1,500 from a guy who is already way behind on army size. So he's way behind on army size, and then he suicides a bunch of army in exchange for workers. And you know what I've said a million times, a worker gives you 40 minerals per minute, but if there are zero minutes left in the game, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything to lose workers. So this is the right move. I had a bigger army before that happened. I still have a bigger army now, but the longer I wait, the, the smaller my army will be relative to his. So I'm going to take this bigger army and go, go win the game. So uh, you engage. Uh, again, we've said a bajillion times. How many, minerals is the stuff you have too much of in this build, right? Because every bit of gas you get goes towards upgrades, goes towards more factories, goes towards tanks and Thors, the most important part of your build. And you just have all these minerals you can't really spend. So you dump minerals into Hellions, and then you let your Hellions soak up damage and die. Um, it's really important not to lose all of your Hellions at, at, all, at, the, at any given time. I'm surprised that this Thor is shooting at these instead of these. That's weird. Um, but aside from making sure that you don't lose all of them, it's best if your Hellions all die, and then you replace them, and then they all die, and then you replace them, and then they all die, and you replace them. So the positioning of your army was really good. Uh, how you used your army was really good. I just, I like this game in general and you kick this guy's butt. I really thought that the quadruple, quadruple baneling drop was very cute. Um, that's a good way to, to take a game that you're losing and have a really good shot at winning it just all at once. So that was a very intelligent move from him. It's a shame that it didn't pay off because you had such a big army out in the field already. Um, so yeah, keep mechin, keep mechin, keep doing exactly what you did. I would like to see a fifth factory slightly earlier. I'd like to see you not supply block yourself so much. Uh, I'd like to see this third base built in place right here as you do your 10 minute push, like way earlier than right now and way safer than right now. Um, I'd like to see an, uh, some a turret in each of your mineral lines in case of mutas, but you know, he didn't make mutas, so it didn't really bite you. Um, and I think that's it. Other than that, everything was great. Everything was perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and you, the name of this game was, I shouldn't have so much money in my bank, but honestly, you didn't really have that problem too much. Uh, your money was staying low until he baneling dropped you, and then I, I feel like you, you were just so flabbergasted by the fact that he baneling dropped you that your money climbed because you were like, I don't know what to do from here. So, like, until he attacks you, you only have about 900 bucks in the bank, but then during the attack, it goes up to 15, and then it drops back down to 9, and it drops, it goes up to 15, and it drops to 9. So you're kind of alternating between 15 and 9, when you'd much rather be alternating between uh, 6 and 0. Uh, and that's just, you don't have enough, enough factories to spend all of the money that you have coming in. And definitely, supply blocking isn't helping. Anyway, I liked it. You needed more gas, which means a quicker third with gas taken immediately and PF.